Couch stretch. So we're doing a bit more of an active mobility here for the squat. We're working on the hip flexors, quads, but also bringing in some stimulation, some connection and some awareness of our glutes. So classic couch stretch. Ash is gonna come down onto one knee. A couple of different things you can play with here, depending on your mobility again. Don't push through, through pain. So an easy kind of mode, get that knee as close to the wall as possible. If you can get flush, awesome. But you can see here, Ash's knee is a little bit further out and he's also staying down in that kind of that bent over position. You're gonna get a bit of a tightness here through the front of the hip, into that hip flexor quad region. But what we can do to crank it up to an even more challenge is Bringing, bringing you, is bringing your torso up. That's gonna increase that stretch on the hip flexor. But what we wanna do is for the first minute, you're just gonna hang out. Just explore this position, get that deep stretch. And then once you've done a minute, we're gonna now try and complete 50 reps of our squeeze and relax. So all Ash is gonna do is gonna tuck his butt underneath while squeezing the cheek and gradually pushing the hips forward. So just intensify that stretch, hold for two seconds, let it go. Squeeze, tuck under, push, two second hold, let it go. He's gonna go on and off for 50 seconds. Nope, for 50 reps. This is just gonna get some active and passive motion through that hip and get this glute firing to help unload that hip flexor, that quad. Now this can be quite challenging, so make sure you do have a mat underneath the knee, but Doing this exercise, especially if you do spend a lot of your day in a sedentary position, seated down, driving around, etc., this is gonna help not just open up your hip flexors, but build strength back into your posterior chain and get your big butt working the way it should be. Give that a go.